Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please join me. In this video I am using 1.4 mm cache hook and a ball of 100% mercerized cotton yarn, 169 meters and 50 grams. And in this video you will see how to crochet unusual motif. Let's crochet the motif. Make chain of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. My ring is ready. Make 12 single crochet into the ring. Make a chain and make single crochet 1, 2. While making my single crochet, remove a long piece of yarn. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Once I have done 12 single crochet, to complete this round, work with a slip stitch into the first stitch of the, this round. I continue working on my motif. It is going to be around puff stitches. Make a chain, pull up the working loop to the level of the double crochet. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the same stitch, pull up a loop, and pull up a loop one more time. I call it strings, pull through all loops on the hook, make a chain, then chain of two for the chain space, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the next stitch. Make puff stitch made of three strings. One, two, three. Then yarn over, pull through, except the last one, and pull through two loops. Let's repeat one more time. Chain of two, yarn over the hook. Pull up a loop one, two, three, pull through and pull through two loops. Chain of two, yarn over the hook and pull up a loop one, two, three, pull through except the last one, pull through two loops. Chain of two and so on. It should work into the each of next stitch. I'm about to complete this round. Insert the hook into the chain stitch, make a slip stitch. Let's crochet round three. Work into the chain space, make a slip stitch. Make a chain. Make two single crochet to the same chain space. Then chain of three for the chain space one, two, three. And two single crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three. And single crochet twice into the next chain space. So keep working in this way till the end of this round. I chained the last one. I skip the chain stitch. Insert the hook into the stitch, make a slip stitch, round 3 is ready, let's crochet round 4, before starting the round 4, I'm making some slip stitches, make slip stitch into the next stitch, and slip stitch into the chain space, let's crochet round 4. It is going to be a big round and unusual in the same time. Make a chain, make two single crochet into the same chain space one and two. 
make 32 chains let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 my chain is ready it is made of 32 chains so my long chain is ready it shouldn't be twisted before i will start the work yarn over the hook insert the hook into the 14 chain stitch away from the hook let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 and make double crochet before continue let's look at the ready project at this point i stop here before continue i show you my ready project this is lacy and beautiful motif i started this part from the chain made of 32 chains and i did double crochet then i'm going to work in this direction and work with different stitches then i'm going to work on the second segment then i will repeat the second segment each time here how my motif looks like and as a result you will get lacy amazing doily it could be perfect like a decoration or it could be part of big project or a lace project and i repeat one more time so i will repeat the second segment each time and once you have done the last segment you should continue on the first one and finish it and you will get the ready project i continue working on my motif yarn over the hook insert the hook around the double crochet make five strings one two three four five pull through all loops on the hook make a chain yarn over the hook this is my stitch that i work it into i skip one two three insert the hook into the third stitch make double crochet yarn over the hook insert the hook around the stitch one two three four five pull through make a chain yarn over the hook and i repeat one more time i skip one two insert the hook into the third stitch make double crochet let's count one two three four five pull through make a chain here what i have at this point i have got three stitches continue working on my first segment yarn over the hook insert the hook around the chain make 11 double crochet around the chain one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Once I have done 11 double crochet around the chain, then half double crochet, and 5 single crochet. 1, 2, make triple pickle. 1, 2, 3 chains. Insert the hook into 2 loops, make a slip stitch. Then one, two, three, insert the hook into the same two loops. Make a slip stitch. One, two, three, insert the hook into two loops. Make a slip stitch. My triple pico is ready. I continue working. Make four single crochet one two three four well done continue make two single crochet into the chain space one two The half of the segment is ready. Here how it looks. I will not repeat it. And as I told you before, I will repeat the second segment. And now I show you how to crochet the second segment. Let's crochet the second segment. I will start from two single crochet, one and two and make chain of 11 for the chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 well done yarn over the hook and turn the work this is the back side of the project From the top, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Insert the hook into the seventh stitch and make double crochet. Let's count, continue, and make the stitch one, two, three. Four, five. Then yarn over, pull through, make a chain. I skip the first stitch, insert the hook into the second stitch, make double crochet, and make strings one, two, three, four, five. Pull through, make a chain. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the stitch. Make double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Then yarn over, pull through, make a chain. I skip the first stitch. Insert the hook into the second stitch. Make double crochet. Here what I have. I continue working on the second segment. This is the back side of the work. Continue make chain of 10 for the chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well done. 
Yarn over the hook. I skip all stitches. This is the top. I insert the hook into this top. Make double crochet. And make some strings. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Pull through, make a chain. Insert the hook into the next stop of my stitch. Make double crochet. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook around the stitch. Pull up a loop. One, two, three, four, five. Pull through, make a chain, yarn over the hook. I skip chains, insert the hook into the top of the stitch, make double crochet, and one, two, three, four, five, then pull through, make a chain. So I'm going to work in the same way as I did here. So it means I am working around the chain or work into the chain space. Make 11 double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well done. Make half double crochet. Then single crochet with triple pico. Make single crochet and first pico one, two, three. Work with a slip stitch into two loops. Continue one, two, three. Work with a slip stitch into two loops of the single crochet. One, two, three. And make a slip stitch. My triple pico is ready. Make four single crochet into the chain space. One, two, three, four. And single crochet twice into the next chain space. One and two. Let's stop and look what I have done. My the second segment is ready. Let's crochet the third segment. I will repeat the second segment each time. So let's crochet the third segment. Make single crochet twice. One, two, chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yarn over the hook, turn the work. I skip one, two, three, four, five, six. Insert the hook into the seventh stitch. Make double crochet. And make strings one, two, three, four, five. Pull through, make a chain, yarn over the hook. 
I skip the first stitch and double crochet into the second stitch and let's count one two three four five pull through make a chain I skip the next stitch and double crochet into the second stitch and make the strings one two three four five pull through make a chain yarn over the hook and double crochet into the second stitch well done then make chain of 10 for the chain space 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 turn the work yarn over the hook and double crochet into the top and make the strings yarn over the hook insert the hook around the stitch one two three four five pull through make a chain then double crochet into the top i skip chains one two three four five pull through make a chain yarn over the hook and double crochet into the top make double crochet and make strings one two three four four five pull through make a chain make 11 double crochet into the chain space let's count them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven well done then half double crochet so I repeat the second segment, then single crochet, make triple pico, chain of three, work with a slip stitch, then chain of three for the second pico, and make a slip stitch, chain of three for the third pico, make a slip stitch. Well done then four single crochet into the same chain space one two three four make two single crochet into the next chain space one two the third segment is ready here how it looks so you should make the next segments in the same way as i did the second one so keep working in this way till the end of this round then i will show you how to finish the first segment and complete the motif once i have done all my segments now i show you how to complete the first one now i show you how to do this 
then I will show you how to crochet the trim for my motif. Also, I will show you how to complete the central part of my motif. Let's continue. Once I have done the last segment, let's complete the central part. Insert the hook into the single crochet. Make Make a slip stitch to secure the yarn by making a chain. I have already cut off my yarn. The central part is ready. And now I show you how to complete the first segment. Let's do it together. Let's crochet my first segment. For this, I turn the work to the back side. As I did before, I skip 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, insert the hook into the 7th stitch. I take the same color of yarn, make a chain and pull it, make single crochet. And chain of two instead of first double crochet pull up the working loop and let's make the joining point and take the last segment insert the hook into the stitch that I work it into I insert the hook into the stitch Take the working loop, pull it through. Like this. Make some strings. Five times. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Then yarn over, pull through, make a chain, yarn over the hook. I skip the first stitch, insert the hook into the second stitch, make double crochet. All well done, pull up the working loop, and insert the hook into the next stitch that I work it into, take the working loop, pull it through. Make some strings, one, two, three, four, five, then yarn over, pull through, make a chain. Here what I have. Continue. Yarn over the hook, I skip the first stitch and double crochet to the second stitch. Pull up the working loop, insert the hook into the stitch that I work it into, this is my top stitch. And make five strings, one, two, three, four, five. Then pull through, make a chain, yarn over the hook, I skip the first stitch, insert the hook into the second stitch, make double crochet. There is the chain space in the previous segment. I skip, let's count. 
one, two, insert the hook into the third stitch, insert the hook into this third stitch, take the working loop, pull it through. Pull up the working loop. You can check yourself. You have got 10 free stitches. Turn the work to the front side and let's look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So everything is correct. Insert the hook into the working loop, make a chain, pull it, and work with trim. Work into the chain space. One, two, make single crochet. Three, and on the top on this pico make chain of three for the pico and work with the slip stitch into the loops of the single crochet one two three chain of three insert the hook into two loops make a slip stitch one two three chain of three and work with a slip stitch into the loops of the single crochet one two three let's stop and look i continue working later but at this point i would like to stop here and look they are my joining points it is not visible on the front side it looks like just simple joining point on the front side, but it was done on the back side. I continue working on my trim. Insert the hook into the stitch. Make single crochet with pico, chain of three and make a slip stitch. make single crochet and single crochet into the chain stitch then single crochet with pico to the stitch make the first one make the second one and single crochet into the stitch then chain of three and make slip stitch chain make single crochet then single crochet into the chain space let's stop and look what i have done here what i have i continue working with next segment I'm going to work with chain space. Make one, two, three, and chain three for the pico. Work with a slip stitch into two loops of the single crochet. I work in the same way as I did here. Make one, two, three. And pico chain of three for the pico work with a slip stitch into two loops of the single crochet one two three chain of three and work with a slip stitch into two loops of the single crochet one two three and make the pico chain of three and work with a slip stitch 
make three single crochet one two three four Here how my dreams looks like. I continue working with single crochet into the stitches. Insert the hook into the stitch, make single crochet and pico, chain of three and work with a slip stitch. One, two, and single crochet with pico. One, one, two, and single crochet with pico. Insert the hook into the stitch, make single crochet with pico. And single crochet. Here, what I have at this point, I have got delicate and unusual in the same time motif. Let's crochet the trim for the next segment, and you should continue working with your own. Insert the hook into the chain space one. Two, three, and pico. One, two, three, and pico. One, two, three, and pico. One, two, three, chain of three. I have done such a group three times. I just need to do three stitches. One, two, three. Then single crochet with pico into the stitch and so on as I did here. Keep working in this way till the end of this row, then I will show you how to complete it. Let's complete this round with me. To complete this round, I skip the chain stitch. Insert the hook into the single crochet, make a slip stitch and pull it to secure the yarn by making a chain. I have already cut off my yarn and my motif is ready. I just need to remove all my yarns along the stitches on the back side. I insert the hook from the back, grab the leftovers and pull it through. You can use the crochet hook to remove a long piece of yarn or sew a needle. And let's look what I have done. So that's it, my project is ready. Here how they look like. For example, I have made exact motif using the white color of yarn. For this motif, I use different all stitches, chain spaces, and picots. To create your personal project, please use your favorite color of yarn, crochet hook, and your imagination. You can use it like a coaster blanket, but for blanket you just have to use another kind of yarn. 
and bigger crochet hook to create the huge one or it could be part of lace project or big project all additional information about the tools could be found in the description of this video tutorial so please visit it also you can join such motifs together to create large piece of work Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and my social media such as Facebook and Pinterest. Please visit them and share this video if you like and write comment below this video what you will get with me and where you will use it. It's very interesting information for me. Good luck in crocheting and see you next time. Bye!